Now we've been talking about interests or hobbies and I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to this. Mm -hmm. Let's consider first of all current and future hobbies. Hmm. In my country, really, gardening is a very popular Garden. hobby, but it's because of uh, um, necessity. People usually maybe grow potato or something like this just to, to, uh, to have a more cheap food. Are there other uh, popular yes, hobbies? Yes. Are the popular hobbies uh, maybe reading, uh, collecting books, because mm -hmm. it was very difficult to find, to find good books in, in recent times. But so it is really, really big hobby reading. Hmm? Why do you think? Really uh, such a big hobby. Uh, Just because it was difficult to find books, or is there any other reason? Uh, I think the, 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 there were few entertainments in recent times. Also, the, there was no uh, a lot of good films and uh, a lot of some shows. So uh, people did prefer to read good books and to entertain this mm -hmm. way mm -hmm. themselves. What kinds of hobbies do you think will be popular in the future? Mm. In the future, uh, I think uh, the same hobbies as in other developed, con uh, developed countries like maybe horse riding or uh, some sport activity are now very popular because there are a lot of equipment, a lot of facilities now, uh, mm -hmm. especially in the big, in big cities. So uh, even uh, how, how to say, yacht sailing, also mm -hmm. now popular. Yeah. Those are active hobbies that <laughs> yeah. you're, you're yeah, mentioning. Totally. Um, do you think that in your country that, that's, that, that they would be particular po particularly popular compared with things, say, like the computer? Mm. Uh, hmm. Computer uh, are very popular, of course, and uh, most people play computer games and uh, surfing in the internet, but uh, it's not very, how to say, uh, fashionable now, maybe. Mm -hmm. So we, we have uh, a lot of other uh, possibilities to, to travel around country and to hunting, for example, fishing. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of places to do it. Yeah. Right, so here we're thinking about people's leisure time, mm. really. What's the, the balance between leisure and work in <laughs> your country? Mm. Um, uh, you see, it's... Uh, when we speak about, um, uh, for example, Moscow, uh, of course, in Moscow people uh, usually work uh, long hours, long hours, really, and uh, they uh, overwork maybe sometimes. Uh, so, uh, um, but uh, on the other side, they had a lot of. Um, uh, possibilities to and uh, a lot of entertainment. Uh, there are a lot of uh, casinos, for example, uh, shows, cinemas, and everything. So, do you think the balance is about right between um, work and leisure, uh, or not? Uh, in, in Moscow, I think it's uh, it's about uh, right. But I'd prefer to have uh, shorter hours, shorter work hours, because uh, usually it uh, considered as. Uh, uh, as necessary to work for top managers or middle managers uh, from nine to um, at least eight or nine, it's it's normal. And in consultancy agency, they work twelve hours, and uh, it's of course not very very well for family and for for health. Yeah, so Do you think this will change in the future? Um, I'm I'm not sure that. Uh, that it will change in in nearest future. Uh, I think uh, the schedule of work will be even harder, stronger, harder, tougher. Why? Yeah, because uh, there are big um, uh, big resources and not uh, markets uh, in general. Not developed so there are a lot of job to do and a lot of uh, money to earn so uh, companies uh, uh, companies now in Russia in, in, in uh, very much in a hurry to to reach uh, to how to say to develop very fast so most companies you know, now developing maybe twice or, or three times a year so it's no time to relax absolutely <laughs> all right thank you very much that's the end of the speaking test thank you thank you 
Right, now we've been talking about interests and hobbies. And I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions mm -hmm. related to this. So let's consider, first of all, current and future hobbies. What do you think are the most popular types of hobby in your country? Uh, sports. Sports and, mm. uh, for example, uh, football. Football, I think, is the most popular one. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that is? I think, okay, first, fo football is popular in most places in the world, and uh, I think uh, it's an easy game to play when you're, mm -hmm. since you're a kid. And also the media helps, television and the radio. In what ways? They always show football, show football mm -hmm. on television, and they, they always, uh, any match, they always show it on television. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that helps. And the news as well, football. Do you think the popularity of football is likely to continue into the future? Yes, yes, it will, because, uh, because uh, kids like football, and most of the kids in my country like football and uh, they play it and it's likely that they will play it when they're older we will watch it. So you don't and think it might be replaced by something like basketball or rugby? I think I think other sports will come more popular but football is still going to be very popular. Sorry. I don't, sorry? don't know if, if it's going to replace like being the most popular sport but, uh, but other sports are becoming more popular, but football is still the, the most popular so one. So there's something special about football? Uh, I think it's uh, the, um, the a good match is, is very nice to watch. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's not that difficult to play for boys. And now girls are playing it as well, so that's mm -hmm. another, another thing. Yeah. Well, let's move on to the, the social benefits of hobbies. Um, do you think there are social benefits of having a hobby? Yes, I think that it keeps uh, people busy doing something um, healthy or, or productive. Well, why would that be a benefit? I know for the society, and uh, instead of doing maybe something that will hurt the society or mm -hmm. something like that, especially for boys, that they can just use their free time doing something productive. On the other hand, do you think there are any dangers of spending too much time on a hobby? Ah, if you don't go to school and play football all the time, for example, or don't go to work somewhere and just sit in front of a television watching a, a match, maybe, yeah, everything in excess is not good. <clears throat> right, let's move on to, to leisure time. Um, a lot of people today talk about the balance between leisure and work. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what is the balance between leisure and work? like in, in your country? I think people work too much. Mm -hmm. Okay, more than, than the leisure. leisure the what why they why do, do you think that? Why do you think people work too much? I think because uh, I think salaries are not that high and people need to work a lot to, to provide themselves, I think. And also, uh, I think, on the other hand, professional people, it just want to go higher, higher in the job ladder. So Do you they think work this will much. change in the future or will it always be like this? I think it's changing now. People uh, realise that um, you can be productive without staying all day mm -hmm. doing, doing mm -hmm. things all the time. All right, thank you very much. That's the end of the speaking test. Okay. Thank you. We've been talking about hobbies and I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to this. Let's consider first of all current and future hobbies. What do you think are the most popular types of hobby in Germany? For male Germans it's probably football. Mm -hmm. And for females it might be shopping, I don't know. <laughs> could be shopping but um, many people are actually uh, doing sports so they were good shocking in, in their spare time. Well, why do you think these hobbies are so popular? Mm, because I think you need balance in life. Uh, the working life is quite hard and nowadays mm. in Germany with the, the economic situation etc everybody needs an anchor point or a balance to their struggle during their working hours mm -hmm. so I guess 
just to have relaxation and to, to, to calm down and, and uh, as a stress relief, I think sports is a, is a good way to do so. And I think that's why many Germans are doing it. It's probably worldwide mm. the case. Let's pick up on that point of leisure time. You, you mentioned that the, mm. the work-leisure um, balance in Germany is perhaps a little bit out of balance. Um, can you tell me more about that? Yeah, I mean, the regular working hours would be eight to nine hours a day. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, competition is quite big because of the unemployment. So everybody is really putting a lot of overtime in their work and pro most of the time probably don't get uh, paid for it. And leisure time is increasingly, of course, uh, getting less and less. And so people are definitely looking forward to their ho holidays or their uh, weekends to enjoy family life. But I think mm. family life is, isn't that what it was before because everybody's so focused on their careers and to keep their jobs and have a good income and, and survive basically in the system. So, Do you think this will continue in the future? Well, probably the next 10 years till the economy again is picking up and uh, our social welfare system is getting better again because it was quite good years ago. But the last 10 years, I would say, it really declined a bit. I see. Yeah. Let's move back a moment for, for yeah. on, on hobbies and think about the social benefits of hobbies. Um, what do you think are the social benefits of having a hobby? Well, it's depending on what your hobby is. If you would, for example, do a hobby where you don't meet anybody, if you are hiking or climbing alone, there's not a big social factor in that, I would say. But if you do it in a community, like, for example, soccer or rugby or what, whatever, uh, then you, in a way, share time with people and have the opportunity to get to know each other better and closer and uh, exchange ideas and, um, and opinions. So I think for that reason, a hobby is very, very important because usually you, you, you find there are people who are not at your work, working environment uh, it's, it's, they are not part of your family, so they come from different backgrounds. And so I think you get a quite good insight into other people's opinions. So and, you get and to know them in a different way. In a, you yeah, in a different way, because everybody's also relaxed. In your working environment, for example, I mean, everybody's quite formal and uh, tries to do the proper thing, obviously. But uh, if you are in, well, doing sports together, it's more casual, everything. And I think you would open up yourself more to the other person. So you think it influences the way we behave at work subsequently? Um, well, I, it could be, but uh, I don't think that it necessarily has to. It could be if, if you would have a hobby. I mean, it's just hypothetical now. Mm. But it could be if you have a hobby and, and uh, have good experiences with other people and are quite relaxed with other people that it would have a good influence in your, in your work, in, in the relationships you hold mm. at your working place. But that's quite hy hypothetical now from my point of view. <laughs> Do you think there are any dangers in spending too much time on hobbies? Uh, if you would neglect your family, yes. <laughs> if the hobby is more important than your family life, and um, in your working life, maybe, then yes, there could be a danger that you lose track with what is going on in your relationship mm -hmm. with your partner and children, etc. Thank you very much. That's the end of the speaking test. <laughs>